viewers, this is Tony Mario Guy, and today I'll be sharing a short message with you titled Fight for the Faith. Let's open our Bibles briefly to the book of Jude 3. Beloved, while I was very diligent to write to you concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write to you, exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. You know, we have uh, serious issues in the 21st century. If you check what's happening on CNN, BBC, and other news media of the world, it's not interesting. You see Christians being killed for their conviction. You see Christians being killed for their convictions and their faith. But we know that in the Western nations, we have freedom of expression. And so we can't allow these things to happen again. There is a need for believers to stand up for the needs of the 21st century to defend the faith. The Bible didn't say that the faith was going to be easy. Many were killed for the convictions of their faith. But we know that the whole world is, is in darkness, is in chaos. And we are the lights of the world. We are the ones called by God as salt of the earth. So we have a duty to preserve nations of the world. But we just can sit down. We have to do things. Uh, the path to righteousness is not an easy path. People will tell you that you can do all manner of things, but that's not an easy path. We know that broad is the way that leads to destruction, but narrow is the way that leads to life. But only few people find it. So we need to come to a point where we need to ask ourselves some fundamental questions. Do we want to change the planet? Do we want to make nations to change? Do we want to transform our environment? Do we want to see people run with principles that are godly? Then we need to stand. We need to fight for what we believe. All the values that we share, principles, honesty, integrity, faith, Morality, everything that we share is being under attack. But you see, evil thrives when righteous men or good men do absolutely nothing. We can sit down. There are two things we need to do. The first thing is we need to pray and we also need to act. Prayer simply means making your request known unto God. It simply means telling God about situations and going back to situations and telling situations about God's word. When there was a deep darkness upon the face of the earth, God didn't complain. He spoke his God kind of word into the, the, the atmosphere and he said, let there be light. And, and, and instantly we are light. And so since we were made in God's image, when we're faced with crisis and, and confusion, and, and chaos, we need to speak God's word. The Bible says, when you pray, whatever you desire, when you pray, believe and you shall receive. Apart from prayer, the next thing we need to do is to act on God's word, stand on God's word. The Bible says, faith without works is dead. The entire creation groans for the manifestation of the sons of God. As sons of God, we need to take our place. We need to take our place in every spectrum of life. We need to take our place in the field of science and technology. We need to take our place in, in the business world, in the world of economy, and we also need to exercise our political rights. Christians shouldn't shy away from politics. We have what it takes to change the destinies of nations. The Bible says, when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. Without your vote, how can you come against laws that are anti-Christians? How can you come up against laws that fight against your faith? How can you dethrone principalities and powers? Yes, we can dethrone principalities and powers through prayer, but we also have a spiritual mandate to enforce what we believe. Faith is acting on God's word. Faith is doing things. But Jesus Christ didn't just sit at home preaching. The Bible says he went about doing good. 
He did things that were godly. He enforced the totality of God's will on earth. We are the custodians of the kingdom mandate. And so we have a responsibility, a spiritual responsibility to enforce the power of dominion. We need to take our place and change the destinies of nations. The Bible says the entire world groans for the manifestation of the sons of God. We will manifest in Asia. We will manifest in Europe. We will manifest in Africa. We will manifest in the US. We will manifest in Australia and in, in all the parts of the world. Sons of God, this is your time. This is your season. This is your hour to rise for the needs and take care of the needs of the 21st century. It is our time. It's your time. Hi, this is Tony Mario. I hope you enjoyed the message. If you want to be part of what God's doing in my ministry, you can join me on Facebook, Tony Mario Guy, on Instagram, and on Twitter. You can also check my website, TonyMarioGuy.com. Today, I pray that God's Spirit will keep you safe, and guide your path, and I pray that you grow the spirit of wisdom and favor. I pray that God will cause His face to shine on you and your family. 